Welcome to Shiny New Clients, the marketing podcast that helps you attract shiny new clients to your business. We'll talk about social media, what makes people buy, how to go viral, and marketing psychology, all in 20 minutes or less. Whether you're a coach, a stylist, or a wedding planner, if you've got a service-based business to sell, this is the show you need to fill your calendar. I'm Jenna Warner, your new marketing coach, and this is Shiny New Clients. If you have a new project coming up, a new offer, a launch, a speaking engagement, anything exciting on the horizon, and you are a little bit shaken in your boots about it, then this episode is for you. In this episode, I'm actually going to take you behind the scenes on a coaching call from within my program because when this moment happened, I thought, you know what? I really want to share this with my audience. So I asked one of the small business owners that I work with who you're going to meet in a moment, and she gave me permission to share this clip from our group call. When you're nervous about an opportunity or an event that's coming up, one of the ways that I have found it so much easier to ground myself and to manage my expectations is to truly identify why the heck I'm doing the thing in the first place. The way that this has showed up in my business is when I'm launching something, I look at the launch as an experiment. If I look at the launch as an opportunity to make a bazillion dollars, that is so nerve wracking. But my My coach actually was the one that gave me this mindset. If I look at the launch as a big experiment, then going into the launch, I have already won. It's a fact-finding mission. It's information gathering. No matter what the results are, they're going to serve the next launch after that and the next launch after that. And so that's kind of what we're going to get into in this next segment. This is just a bite-sized episode. I'm going to share a story and we're going to talk about how to apply that to everything you have coming up in your business this year so that you can feel grounded and so that you can feel more in control of the result. We get straight into it here on the Shiny New Clients podcast. No fluff, no filler. We're getting right to the good stuff. I'd like to introduce to you Neha Natya, who is a macro coach. If you're not familiar with macros, it is in the weight loss and health and wellness realm Macro diet plans are an approach to eating, I don't know the ins and outs, but you know, you don't need to either for what we're about to do. But basically, Neha helps other Desi women hit their weight loss goals and get toned without sacrificing their culture and their cultural ways of eating. That's what her business is. She has a service-based business, which is who I work with most, service-based business owners. And you're about to hear a segment from a coaching call that will start with my dear friend Pete's voice. Pete is our program cheerleader. So in group calls, he reads out our clients' questions, and then we dive in one-on-one in this group setting to talk it out. Pete will read out what Neha has submitted, which is two questions, one that's sort of a big picture question, and a second one, which is specifically about her reels. Without further ado, here is the segment. I empower women by giving them the tools they need to achieve all of their health goals through counting macros instead of counting calories. And the question is, I have an opportunity to give a presentation to other coaches in my field pre-recorded. I plan to do a Canva presentation on time management, maximize your day to be a better coach, and give eight immediate tips coaches can follow to maximize the time in their day. Would you have any tips for me? Thank you so much. Also, I worked very hard on this reel, adjusted the hook a few times, played with the font and the call to action, and I got, it got my lowest views out of all my reels. What did I do wrong, and what can I do for the next time? Is the point of making reels just to make them in a decent amount of time or vary the content and delivery to see what works and then copy that? Okay, let's start at the beginning here, friend. So you're doing this presentation and it's not to your ideal client, it's to other experts, yeah? Yeah, and it's other. So I'm I'm in nutrition and I am presenting to other trainers, nutritionists. I mean, I looked at the speakers at the live like summit and they're like, they have PhDs. I just became certified four months ago. This is like, I'm having serious imposter syndrome, but it's an opportunity. And, you know, as soon as I was asked, I said, yes, immediately. 
because I know I would talk myself out of it. So I'm doing it. So I um I used to be in theater and I toured a show and I was a bartender at the time. And this guy who's like an amazing director and had toured all these shows on the same circuit as me came up to the bar and I was like, Chris, I would love to pick your brain. Like I'm about to tour. Like, what do I need to know? And he said, well, why are you, why are you doing this show? And I was like, well, you know, hadn't really been asked that. I'm like, I guess I really wanted to create musical comedy for women because it's mostly musical comedy. It's like, there's a lot out there for men. Um, I wanted like, like I had a few like deep core value reasons on why I wanted to do it. And that's kind of the first answer that came to my head. And he said, amazing. So it sounds like you've actually already achieved that goal. Because if the goal was to write it in a message, then you've already won. And I was like, yeah, I suppose I have. And he's like, then it doesn't matter what happens when you go to the festival. It doesn't matter how many tickets you sell. Like you've already got the thing you're set out to do. So I say that not because you've, you know, you might not have the same goal as me, but if you know what your goal is or what you want to get out of this thing, then you can set yourself up for success. So what do you want to okay. gain from this experience? I don't see a lot of women in color in my field. So that yeah. is definitely something I wanted to kind of show people that, you know, just because I might not eat the same foods as everybody, it still applies. Like every everything that everybody's saying still applies. Oh my gosh. So all the things you're teaching, like you're not teaching like that uh, traditional Western meal. Right. Mm -hmm. and, oh. and I'm vegetarian. Amazing. So in that same way, just by showing up and doing whatever job you do, you already nailed it. Right. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, you're right. You're absolutely right. Just being visible, just, just being me and just showing up. Yeah, man. And on top of that, get pictures of it. <laughs> you can, right? Then we can gain that content and we can show people, hey, I did that. And we can blast that even further. Right. Um, that might take some bravery of like asking someone to hold the phone or take some clips or whatever if you can. Yes. And then be strategic about the next place that you want to send people so that you're ready to say it when you're asked. So like, is the next place when you're up there if you want to learn more, if you want to meet me, I'll be at the back. Is it go to my Instagram? Is it scan this QR code for a free download and just send everyone to the same exact place? And those three things. And like, it doesn't even matter what you say. You've won. Yes. Okay. And what were those three things again? Yeah, I'll say it again. So the reason you're going there, you've already won. You're going to represent women in color and different types of meal plans and not eating Western way and eating a vegetarian way and showing that you count too done and get content from it so that you can exploit it on the internet <laughs> and know the best place the most valuable place for you to send people who want more from you so that you can say it really easily offhand and so you can distribute a link or whatever it is and you can always say the same thing okay okay thank you that was really really helpful and You're welcome. it's it's so so funny how you know no matter how experienced you are you always feel like am i capable am I, can i do it but of course you can so. yeah man everyone in there who's like more experienced than you stood where you stand right now that's true right can't one to skip a few it plus you have a more contemporary education in some areas like digital marketing someone who's going through it 20 years ago isn't actually getting the better education as the person who did it last year right the science continues to get deeper thank you now let's look at this real so you're stressed because you thought it was good and it didn't get good numbers and you're wondering would it be better if i just had gone faster and made more yes yeah. So in general, like I looked at this reel and I was like, yeah, I see nothing wrong with this reel. She she did her job, you know, but what you said about like, is there a world where you put a little bit less work into 
more pieces of content, I think that that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Then and I, more I looked at it for too plan. long. And instead, I could have, you know, made double, triple the reels in the same amount of time. Yeah. I changed the hook and I did this. And I'm like, oh, wait, I don't know. But at the end of the day, it's literally like, what, five to eight seconds, six seconds long. And yeah, it's so normal because you started to learn a whole bunch of things. And now you're going to be harsher on your content because you know so many things. And then you just need to like, let things be only okay, like aim for okay, and do more of it. And you're going to still no matter what be getting better every time. Because of the habit. And because I know what to look for and how to start the hooks and just yeah. more of that. Yeah, literally practice. It's going to become inherent. So instead of now that you did this, now that you did rewrite that hook a million times and your brain finally went, yes, that is it. That has all of the ingredients. It's you're, it's going to get easier. And the point is never to go viral on one, right? You just keep producing, keep producing. And, and with the quantity, you can't, as long as you don't quit, you can't not be successful in the long run. Exactly. Right, right. Yes. It's not just about one, it's about all of it. Collect. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Sometimes, you know, I'm so detail oriented. I just need a reminder to zoom out. (laughs) Hi, it's Jenna. You're back with me again. To be honest, listening back to that, I was a little bit cringing at myself for jumping into a full-fledged story. But in this moment, I just followed what I felt like Neha needed to hear. And I know that in marketing, facts tell and stories sell. So I hope my story about my journey touring that show and Neha's response to it helped you and helped you feel more grounded about any big giant things you have coming up. What is your ultimate goal? What do you want to get out of it? What is the point? Know that in your heart and you might even find that you're successful before you even begin. If you want to learn more about working with me inside Magic Marketing Machine, my group program, there is a free training in the show notes called How to Get Clients from Instagram Without Wasting Hours Glued to Your Phone. That's going to tell you the strategy business owners use inside the program and also introduce what the program's all about and give you an opportunity to join if you feel like that's right for you right now. With that, I'll see you in the next episode.